Now that February is here, many gardeners will begin the process of planting seeds in order to raise plants for the next growing season. The very first thing you notice about sprouting seeds are what are called the primary leaves. These primary leaves begin to photosynthesize very quickly in order to supply the plant with energy. The next leaves that begin to show themselves are called secondary leaves. It is usually these secondary leaves that take on the appearance of the parent leaves, while the primary leaves begin to simply expand and continue the process of photosynthesizing. An interesting tidbit is when you're eating sprouts on your sandwich or in a salad, you are simply eating the primary leaves. Another interesting tidbit is when you're eating cabbage, you're simply eating leaves that have wrapped around themselves. In the picture above, you can notice the cross section of a cabbage, and you can clearly see how the leaves as they develop wrap around themselves. While harvesting cabbage, should you leave some of the white inner core, some of the little side branches will begin to grow into small cabbages. Oftentimes, gardeners will leave these in order to get a second harvest. If we dive a little deeper into the morphology of seedlings, Botanists have actually named or given more scientific terms for such things as primary and secondary leaves. If we take a look above at this germinating bean plant, you notice the primary leaves. Well, botanists have given that the term cotyledon. Like the bean plant above, a dicot has two leaves after germination whereas a monocot has one leaf after germination. So next spring when you're out and about and you're looking at those pesky weeds coming up, take a closer look. You might be able to tell whether or not it's a monocot or a dicot. And remember, some of those pesky weeds that are growing may grow up to be some beautiful flowers.